Hello and welcome to this 500R8 quick tutorial on configuring 500R8's USB outputs for system sounds and DAW playback. 500R8's main monitor section is accessible independently from the 500 series modules by using the dedicated DAW return paths in the monitor control section. In this video, we're going to configure Mac OS and PC systems to use the correct USB outputs on 500R8 during playback. We're also going to set up the monitor output paths of a DAW by focusing on Pro Tools, but check out the links in the description for information on how to do this in other DAWs. Once 500R8 is connected to your device via USB, we need to set up our machine to send audio to the correct USB destinations. To do this on Mac OS, search for an application called Audio MIDI Setup using the Spotlight Search function. Right-click 500R8 in the left column and select Use this device for sound output as well as the option for play alerts and sound effects through this device. Next, select Configure Speakers. Assign the left option to USB Output 9 and the right option to USB Output 10. Then press Apply and Done. On 500 r itself, simply turn the monitor blend control to the DAW position and make sure the DAW select switch is up. Now, when you press play in iTunes, Spotify or other web applications, the audio will pass out through 500R8's blend pot and into the monitor level control. From here, just adjust the monitor level control to taste. To achieve the same setup on Windows, you first need to install 500R8's drivers from the Cranbourne Audio website. Once they're installed, click the speaker icon on the taskbar and select out channel 9 and 10 from the list of available audio devices. Check the monitor blend control is set to the DAW position and make sure the DAW select switch is up. Then you're ready to press play in your desired application. When you're ready to record with 500R8 and you open your DAW of choice, you will need to configure the stereo output of your DAW to play out of USB outputs 9 and 10. To do this on Pro Tools, we first need to open up a session, go into Setup, Playback Engine, and select 500R8 from the list of available playback engines. Then, we need to go into Setup, I.O. and select USB Output 9 and 10 from the Monitor Path drop-down menu. Now when we press Play in Pro Tools, the stereo output will come out of 500R8's USB channels 9 and 10 and directly into the Monitor Blend Control. Now the USB outputs are configured correctly, you can use 500R8's Monitor Controller to adjust Speaker AB, Mono and DIMM functions directly from the front panel. Every DAW handles configuring the stereo output differently. So please see the video description for more information on how to do this in your DAW of choice. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and check out the other videos in this series for more tutorials.